Hi guys, how are you all? So recently we have suffered through COVID outburst and we have gone through many unexpected things. But with the God grace, things are getting normal and we all can go out and have food at our favorite place with friends and families. But precaution is still necessary and smart people take precautions. So our team at Eye Gang Design thought how can we solve this problem using technology that can reduce human touch in public places easy to access and handy to use. So we come up with an idea that is QR menu. And I assure you, this is the most needed thing you can have right now. And this is the smartest technology that can literally solve your problem with easy to use and attractive UI. Basically, this app creates a QR code for the service or menu you provide. And when your naive users scan it, the whole menu or service will be on their screen in no time. And they doesn't even need to install this app. How easy is that? And if you are an admin, there are a bunch of features available for you in this app. So let's just see this app. So this is our QR menu app and when you enter it, you can see the powerful login system we have and you can enter it with Google or you can just enter your mail that I am doing right now and wait for it. Okay. Oh. Then just click on sign in button and you will enter into the app. So you can see this simple and attractive UI we have. And this is a demo restaurant I have made for a quick overview. So let's go into that. And you can see, first of all, we have categories that you can see. And below that, we have menu items. You can just scroll down and look into that. And on the top, we have this QR code, which will be generated for you after you create your own restaurant. And you can share or forward it to others. And then going back, let's see how to add a restaurant in this. So click on new button and you will get this layout. In this, the first thing is to add a logo. So click on that and you can add whichever logo you like to add. So go to gallery and I'm using this friends logo. And then this is for thumbnail. You can just add your thumbnail from whichever you like and this is done. Then you can add an amazing name. I'm using like it's friends cafe. So you can see I'm a big fan of friends and you can be also watch it and write your mail in this i'm doing it okay and then we have type veg and non-veg because it's a restaurant you can just customize it if you have a code uh, whichever in a way you like then add your contact uh, i'm just doing randomly then you have currency option you can just select any currency from where you are and add it now you have also a new item validity you can add the validity for new item in your category and i'm just giving it 10 days then you can add an address of your restaurant or businesses you have so it would be central park new york and then you can add a little bit of description for your restaurant what Monica makes and Joey eats. <laughs> what Monica makes and Joey eats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And then just click on add button and then it will be added in your restaurant list. Let's enter to this our, our restaurant and let's see how to add a new category in your restaurant. So just click a new button near to this category and you can add a photo or a just anything you want to add. I'm just making a main course, so I will use this photo and my category would be main course. And you can add a description for it. Or uh, that could be anything. Monica's space speciality. Yeah, and then just click on add. Yeah, you can see the main course is here. And then we will see how to add a menu items in your course. So just click on main course and then click on this new uh, near to this menu item. I just added and you will get this layout. So first would be your uh, item photo. You can just click there or just click on from Google. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So I'm using this photo of Turkey and I will be named as Monica's Turkey. And category, you can just, we have only one category right now, so I will just select that. You can add it into any category you have and then just select a price for it, whichever you have. I am giving it like $100. 
and you can add an ingredient in it that could be turkey obviously you can add multiple candy ingredients so first is turkey then spices and whatever you want to add you can just add it i am just doing it for a quick overview so this is it uh, and you can add a description for it uh, just writing happy thanks giving you can write any description you like and just moving ahead you will get this uh, like uh, preset options that could be veg non veg spicy it could this is like a veg not veg <laughs> new spicy and i will add just special and just add, click on add and you will get your menu in it and you can see this monica's turkey has been added in our main course so it will be shown in all and main course both and this is done and in this uh, top section we have this qr code that is made just for you that is brand fan cafe you can just share it to your customers or anyone you want and this is the basic overview of a restaurant you can add multiple restaurants and businesses or any service you provide and moving ahead we have this setting on the top right corner just go into that and here we have yeah, this edit profile you can edit your profile from here then you can change your password that's a basic thing and we have also this language you can change it to language you like then we have dark mode you can just change it or you can put it in system default dark mode is like nice you know and we have other some like common settings that all apps have and this was the quite amazing app you can see that and it was simple and very simple to use you just need to understand this thing this was just an example for you let's take freelancers in the picture they can show their services using this app if you are a candidate you can show your resume and skills if you are a business person you can show your products and services you provide there are endless possibilities you just need a smart mind because it takes one qr code to change the way you do